Can you see Patrick right now? Not you can't yet. see him because summer's known as a blockbuster season, but that's not all they've got to film stream. That's right. Pieces are hand selected, brought to Omaha with a purpose, and there's plenty happening in the coming weeks. Yes, yeah, there's Patrick Kitty. Now we can bring in Patrick <laughs> Kinney from Film Streams. Good morning, Patrick. How are you doing? Welcome back. Good morning. It's good so, to be here. So, uh, actor, I mean, you this have is, all these films. Is, yeah, any, what, a pol politician, former actor, what do you think? Boy, wouldn't it be interesting to see what Bobcat Goldthwait could do? <laughs> oh, you're going, you you're know? going comedian, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Old school. <laughs> he's been on the show. He's sat in that uh -huh. seat. He's oh wow! Not, he's okay. not nearly what you would see from his old stand-up right. stuff, like with that's the voice right and that's the right act. Right he's really cool. Hi yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not how he is now. All right, opening this Friday. Talk about that. At the end of the tour, what's this film all about? Well, this is a really exciting film. It's um, an adaptation of a book. Uh, that journalist David Lipsky wrote a few years ago about a, an extended road trip that he took with mm -hmm. uh, the writer David Foster Wallace right around the time that his, uh, his legendary landmark novel uh, Infinite Jest mm -hmm. came out mm -hmm. and it was, he was supposed okay. to interview him for the Rolling Stone and it became a really uh, sort of an intimate um, discussion that took place over a few days. Uh, the interview was never published but after David Foster Wallace passed away in 2008 he re-explored the interview and released it as a book. Wow. Um, and it's being noticed for, it's got two huge performances. Jesse Eisenberg, who we think of as a dramatic actor, but also Jason Siegel, who's been known mostly as a comedic actor. Yeah, How I Met Your Mother here on CBS. That's right. He's got great yeah. timing. So to see him in this kind of role, it's a different look. It's, yeah, it's, it's a game changer. How, how did he do uh, in that role? I mean, it, I think he did great. Because it's a little bit different from for what he's yeah. Used to doing. Yeah, he pulls it off. And there's, there's a lot of humor in the film, too. Um, a lot like both of their writing, you know, it's it's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. It's very, very true to life. Okay, so we have that coming, but then the following Friday, another new film. That's right. This one is Iris. Mm -hmm. It's um, one of the last documentary projects from Albert Mazels, who mm. was, uh, I talked about him the last time I was on here with Grey Gardens, mm -hmm. one of mm -hmm. his first, or one of his early films, and this is one of his last. He passed away earlier this year. Um, it's about Iris Apfel, yep. who is notorious in the New York fashion scene. She's 93 years old. She's still with us. And uh, she, as you can see from this picture, cuts a striking figure. Mm -hmm. she's a, she is an individual. And actually, on the 21st, Friday the 21st at 7 p.m., uh, the producer of the film, Laura, Laura, Laura Coxon, will be uh, with us to do a Q&A afterward. Oh, okay. How old was she in that picture? Is that a recent picture? That's recent, yeah. She's, she's known for those glasses. Yeah, yeah. those yeah. iconic got, glasses mm -hmm. and she's all, of the, mm -hmm. all of the accessories. So yeah. Iris on the 21st, the 22nd brings a single showing, right? This isn't going to have some long run. And there's a talk associated with this film, too. It's really exciting. We're going to have a one-time showing, you're right, of Little Fugitive, mm -hmm. which is a film from the mid-50s. It's considered uh, the first American independent film, or one of them. Uh, it's about a little boy who uh, runs away from home for a day and goes to Coney Island and explores the rides and, the, and all of the things that you associate with Coney Island mm -hmm. while his older brother is desperately trying to find him to bring him home before his their mother gets mm -hmm. home. Yeah, well, he's um, gnawing on a piece of watermelon. <laughs> yeah. So why do you have a talk with this one? Because sometimes those are social subjects that you want to bring people in. What was this it about exciting. this film? So um, New York film curator, he's a New York City-based film curator and scholar, Jacob Perlin, will be coming to town, and he's going to have a, a, a talk with the audience afterward. It's going to be, it's a great experience to learn more and dig into a film. Got it. We always talk about your Forever Young series. Is that just a summer series that you do is just run through the summer or does it go throughout well the year? we do uh quarter by quarter but it runs throughout the year we've all it we've does. always got family friendly programming mm -hmm. what do you still have left coming up uh in this quarter for that uh we have a lot of fun coming up still uh right now we're uh showing the sound of music the the Yay. julie andrews classic uh, sing and, mary, uh, mary sing it the, no <laughs> please, please let's, <laughs> let's do this we would be fine let's spice up the show a little <laughs> no, bit no i think give the people what they want they want me to be quiet <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true i'm uh, sorry patrick go ahead <laughs> <laughs> I do love this scene. Go ahead. We've got a few more left. Pee Wee's Big Adventure is coming up. Mm -hmm. Annie is coming up. Never Ending Story. Oh, man. Lots, oh. of, lots of fun. To lots see of them on time. the big screen. I think a lot of parents probably go like using their kids as some <laughs> yeah. kind of disguise just to, so they can see some of these films That's on the big right. screen again. Fun and then for you everyone. have Sights on mm -hmm. Sound Summer 2015. Yes. This is uh, every Sunday uh, for the a few more weeks. Uh, we started it back in July. Uh, on Sundays at 7 p.m., we're showing recent or restored rock documentaries or music documentaries. Mm -hmm. It's beyond rock. 
Uh, but a few of the upcoming ones right there is a picture for a film called Lambert and Stamp. Yeah, the And it's who? about uh, a duo of promoters in London in the 60s who didn't really know what they were doing and stumbled upon a band that would be called The Who mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and kind of helped usher them into worldwide Isn't fame. That how, do they, how do they do the documentary? Is it through the, the point of view of those producers? How, how does it... Well, it's a lot of it's a it's a lot of the people around them. One of them is passed away. One of them is still here. But there's interviews with huge figures of the '60s scene, mm -hmm. um, including you know the the Who themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then it's all really the, the all the old pictures and all the old oh, yeah. video that you see in those documentaries is really cool. Yeah, what and a spectacular accident. Yes. <laughs> they really just, you as you said, stumbled worse. upon them. Yeah. Uh, with membership, do you get access to all of this stuff, or is this, are they kind of add-ons once you're a no, member? No, uh, they're all regular showings, so they all uh, fall under our member prices, which mm -hmm. is half off uh, general admission. We don't talk much about your mission because we're usually just like pa so packed with like what's coming and yeah. trying to get to those details. But would you explain why Film Streams was first created and, and why you exist in this community? Absolutely. So we're Omaha's only nonprofit cinema. We're dedicated to the presentation and discussion of film as an art form. So that lets us do a lot of really exciting things. Uh, we do the first run films that we've been talking about here, the new independents and foreign films and documentaries. We also have a repertory program where we're always showing classic films that uh, otherwise wouldn't have a screen in Omaha at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them have never even played in Omaha, period. But they're important films that teach us about life in the world. Uh, we also have a community development program where we partner with fellow nonprofit organizations in the city on events that speak to our film mission mm -hmm. and their whatever their mission may be. And then we'll have a panel discussion after that. Uh, Alexander Payne, one of your big supporters, I think he's a, a board member. Obviously, he's, you know, he's had Oscar nominations. Mm -hmm. um, do you hope to inspire that from other youngsters in Omaha through this mission? I know part of the development. Absolutely, um, yeah. We, we, have a, we also have an education program. We're very, very invested in creating a, a future for film mm -hmm. in, in Omaha uh, and all the good that it can do. Uh, and that does involve, yeah, inspiring, hopefully, a new generation. And, and you the see, Family and Children series is part of that, is certainly. And there's well. a lot of Omahans, a lot of Nebraskans that go out to L.A. to try to hit it. And you don't realize how many... Omaha people go out there and try mm -hmm. to be actors and producers and directors. And but it's about the art. It's, they're not chasing fame. Like all of those people we have come back on the show, mm -hmm. right? They're not like A-listers. They do it because they love it. Um, and that's why you exist too, as you said. It's the preservation of the art form. Online is filmstreams.org and you can learn more about everything that's coming this month and beyond. Better, do you have kids? No, I do not. You do not. Okay, well, everybody went back to school. Mm -hmm. uh, today and yesterday and tomorrow. tomorrow it's a yep. big time for kids going back to school. Because I had an eighth grader and a kindergartner that started yesterday. Uh, I know, big time. Many colleges.